All right, what is going on, everyone? First and foremost, I'm going to say thank you for being here right now, watching this video. I do really appreciate your time, and I'd really appreciate if you do consider subscribing because it truly does help me out a lot. Now, we got how con how comes that you might have basically ruined his own hype, killed his own hype train, and things like that. We all know comes that you might have was pretty much known to be the next biggest star in the UFC. He was running through everyone like it was nothing and things like that. Everybody loved him, especially especially um, when he fought Gilbert Burns. That was a, you know, test for him. And a lot of people saw that as an absolute war fight. Like, you know, he's going to end up being champion one day. And they're like, yeah, bro. Like, you get what I mean? And after that fight, it just seems like, you know, he kind of, you know, got humbled. If anything, you know, he... He tasted blood for the first time. You get what I mean? He bled. And, you know, it was just like a humbling experience for him that, you know, he's not completely invincible, if you get what I mean. He's beatable, if you get what I mean. Because it was a very, very close fight, man. But, um, yeah, man, without further ado, let's just play the video and see what it's talking about. Chimaev was getting hyped up to be the first triple champion in the UFC, the first guy to win a belt in three different weight classes. He was taking over every unranked prospect you can think of, and he genuinely looked like an unstoppable force in the UFC. And nowadays, I don't even think of Hamzat Chimaev. I feel like he doesn't even get talked about a lot. To go from one of the biggest prospects in the UFC to a guy that barely gets talked about nowadays, and he's only known for being a loudmouth on Twitter. I can't help but think Hamzat Chimaev has completely killed a lot of his own hype. And it's not even like he's gone on a losing streak or he's even lost a fight. The guy's undefeated and he's still somehow managed to kill his own hype. And I'm going to be talking about why. I know it's not entirely his fault, which I will mention as well. But a lot of the, a lot of the reason that his hype has died is definitely up to him. And I feel like the first main reason is his activity state. This guy... He's super inactive in the UFC. I remember a time when Chamaev was super active. Back in 2020, I, I'm pretty sure there was a time when he fought like twice within 10 days. He was super active. He was replacing people on short notice. He fought three times in 2020. And I feel like that's what you should do if you're a prospect in the UFC. If you want to be a big star, you want to be a big prospect in the UFC, you've got to fight regularly. You've got to win fights in dominant fashion and they have to be regular. You can't be having one exactly bro Ex if, especially if you want to get that belt you want to get your first ufc belt you have to be active bro the the inactivity can come after you get that belt because once you get that belt everybody else is gonna want what you, gonna want what you have right but only you know one person can get that opportunity to say hey you know let's set this fight up we're gonna fight but at the end of the day bro if they want what you have you have the the actual choice because you're the one you're the champion you're the one with the belt so you have the actual choice if you want to be you know if you want to fight once every year twice every year even you get what i mean and become a, that's a regular champion you get what i mean that's a regular champion regular champions fight um twice every year i'm pretty sure and it's just like you know you you can get up there but at the end of the day bro if you don't have the belt plus you're being inactive yeah, you're setting yourself up for failure. I can't lie, man. But I'm not saying you're never going to get the belt. But, bro, you you, you got to do something, man. But let's keep going. A year or two fights a year. I guess two fights a year is acceptable. But if you're unranked and you're not at the top level, you should be trying to fight as much as you possibly can. Chimaev was going out there barely taking any injury in, every, in any of his fights, and he was able to fight multiple times, whereas nowadays, you look at Hamzat Shemaev, he fought once in 2021, he fought twice in 2022, but one of them was a weight miss, he was supposed to fight Nate Diaz, and then he had to quickly get replaced against Kevin Holland, so he's lucky that fight still got made, and then he fought an entire year later, over a year later, against, uh, well, a UFC 294 against Kamar Usman, in which he went full three rounds, and looked very beatable in that fight and now we're in march of 2024 and chamayev still not got a fight booked and he's just been super inactive and i feel like when you're in it when you're an inactive fighter people aren't going to be talking about you for long if you were fighting on a regular basis every couple of pay-per-views you were fighting multiple times a year and i understand the higher ranked you get in the ufc it kind of slows down because you've got less options people get booked there are uh, matchups that make sense and matchups that don't so the higher you climb the rankings obviously it gets harder to fight 
why, but Chemayev's like, what, he's ranked like near 10th, I think he's ranked 8th, or something like that in the middleweight division, this guy's not even in the top 5 yet, so there's no excuse for him to be this inactive in the UFC, and I think if he was a lot more active, there'd be a lot more people talking about him and hyping him up, the next reason is that this guy barely beat Usman, after taking an entire year off, he comes back against a short notice Usman. I'm not gonna lie, you can't lie, bro. Usman is a beast, but at the end of the day, bro, he 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 got beat twice by Leon Edwards. Not only that, but he has bad knees, he has health issues, he's he's a, he abuses he abuses PEDs. We all know that. It's like, bro, it's crazy. But at the end of the day, I'll give you know comes at you my the benefit of the doubt, bro, and you know believe what he said when he said you know he 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 broke his hand. In like what the first round so he couldn't really you know sh do do much of the striking when it comes to when it comes to um standing on the ground with Kamaru Usman so you know but he still won comes out Jamaev still won at the end of the day man but we, we just want to see him do better is all we're saying because you know he was the way he was going on the way he's going on on Twitter it seems like man you know but but now you just look beatable bro you don't even look like a beast anymore if you get what i mean like you're not running through these guys anymore if you get what i'm trying to say but let's keep playing the video he was on a two fight losing streak and it was in a completely different division and he barely beat him most people think and agree that if that fight would have gone two rounds longer if that would have been a five round fight Chamaev would have been finished he looked really good in the first round i'll be honest with you he was dominating usman with his wrestling and usman's a great wrestler one of the best so Chamaev in that first round looked really unstoppable and then the second and the third his striking was sloppy he couldn't get it going when it came to grappling and most people well not most people but a majority of the well a lot of people let's put it that way a lot of people thought that it should have ended in a draw or at least a win to Usman. So to barely beat Usman in a three rounder, it doesn't look good when people were hyping you up to be a first triple champ and you can't even beat Usman on short notice in a completely different division to what he's used to in a three rounder. So that's another reason. If he would have gone out there and dominated Usman and found that submission in the first round, there'd be a lot of hype. You've just finished one of the greatest welterweights of all time, a former champion in the middleweight division, I understand, but you've just finished a former champion in one round. That would have pushed him probably straight into the title picture. And um, he's just not done that anymore. And now, and, and the fact that he went from being the first triple champ to not being anywhere near a belt, the guy's nowhere near. He's still got at least, at least, and this is if he's lucky, one more fight left before he gets a title shot. He's not even got a win over a single middleweight, a ranked middleweight right now. His last middleweight fight, like I said, was against Usman, who's a welterweight. He hasn't got a win over anyone in the top 10 in the middleweight division right now. And I think he desperately needs a win. And I don't even think, I don't even know if this guy beats the contenders to get to a title shot. I'm not even sure if I'd favor Shemaev to beat a guy like Drikus or a guy like Jared Kananir because if they can stuff his takedowns, and I don't think they'd have a big problem doing it, especially Drikus, on the feet, Hamzat Shemaev would be tossed. That guy's finished on the feet if he fights these guys. Um, so I'm not sure he even beats the contenders. Even Strickland's a difficult fight at this point. And Adesanya, I think Adesanya's a kind of a 50-50 matchup because I do think that Shemaev could finish Adesanya early on in the fight. But in the later rounds, like we said about the Usman fight, Shemaev's stamina is terrible. I think he'd genuinely struggle in the later rounds against the guy's experienced as Adesanya, and he could get picked apart. And my point is, he's nowhere near a title fight, and uh, he's nowhere near the belt, and people are hyping him up to be the first triple champ, and now we, we don't even know if he's going to become a single champion in this UFC career, which is crazy. And even if he does fight for a belt, let's say the rest of his career is completely flawless, right? He wins, he gets wins, he gets good wins against, you know, notable opponents. He's still probably not going to even fight for a belt until 2025. Like I said, we're in, what, March of 2024? He hasn't got a fight booked. Let's say he's booked in, like, June against Israel Adesanya, because I heard that's a fight that's been rumoured for, like, a, a card in, like, Saudi Arabia. Israel Adesanya versus Hamzat Shemaev. And let's say he was to go out there and um, beat Israel Adesanya, which is a big if, because I still don't know if I favor him in that matchup. But if he was to go out there and beat Adesanya flawlessly, knowing Adesanya's in, uh, knowing Shumayev's inactivity, he's still probably not going to fight until at least 2025, and then he's got to actually beat the champion. So even if he was to have a flawless career and become the champion, we probably wouldn't see this guy fight until 2025, or at least late 2024 for a belt. So his inactivity is definitely showing there, and the fact that he's, like I said, so far from a belt, never mind triple champ status, 
And I think it, overall, he's, his style has completely changed. I, I remember knowing Hamzat Shemaev in, you know, early 2022 for being the guy that was ragdolling everyone. The amount of hype this guy had going into the Gilbert Burns fight. People were saying that this should have been the main event of the evening, the people's main event. Um, and he, he was just known for ragdolling everyone, like he did to Li Jing Liang, knocking out GM3. And I know he ragdolled Kevin Holland, but again, like I said, that was on short notice against a guy that wasn't preparing for you and you'd missed weight. So I, it's not like we're seeing those performances regularly. He went life and death against Gilbert Burns. Gilbert Burns was able to completely avoid any grappling offense from Chemaev. And on the feet, Chemaev looked like Drikas Duplassi, the way he was going life and death. Uh, again, a lot of people thought that Chemaev lost that fight. And then, like I said, the Usman fight, he looked good in the first round, but just wasn't able. But yeah, man, I'm in this video here. Let me know what you guys think. And clearly, this is how, you know, comes out Chemaev basically killed his own hype. No one killed it except for him. You get what I mean? It seems like he's getting humbled each time he, he fights, you know, high ranked opponents. He's getting more humbled and humbled. But at the end of the day, man, um,. Me personally, I'm not really, you know, you know, waiting or, you know, stalking. The, the, basically, the type of person to stalk just comes at Jemayev and wait for him to fight simply because, you know, it's. I'm, I know it's going to be a long time until he actually fights someone. You get what I mean? But at the end of the day, when it does actually happen, when it's officially happening, man, you can't you can't lie. You got, you got to be excited. You got to be happy. Because at the end of the day, if he's taking this much time off, you know he's going to be 100% healthy. Everything's going to be 100%. So there is no excuse for him to lose at the end of the day, man. So when he fights, it's going to be a good fight, you know. Plus, you know, he's he he's kind of a hype train, even though it kind of died down. But at the end of the day, Dana White does put him on, you know, pretty stacked cards. You get what I mean? Dana White doesn't lack on this guy. So... It's going to be right in your face, and it's just like, okay, why not? You get what I mean? I'm hyped for this, plus all the other, um, plus all the other, you know, fighters who are hyped up at the moment are fighting on the same card. It's just like, yeah, you can't help it but to be happy. But at the end of the day, bro, um, yeah, man, I'm not really, you know, waiting and, you know, being impatient for it comes that you might have to fight. I'm not really interested. All I'm saying is when, when it, when it, when it's official when it does happen it's just like okay you get what i mean i'll watch that fight you get what i mean i'll watch it and you know wait wait until the next wait until his next fight actually happens and that's pretty much it but at the end of the day man man this video here let me know what you guys think and subscribe for more content and let me know what you guys think about the all all of this man and peace out